yeah, this is the pla uh, the plate up Halloween update. So some of it is temporary, like limited time, and some of it I assume is permanent. I think. Uh, but yeah, so starting uh, now, we have the spooky update, and the first thing we get are costumes. So instead of just being a chef, you can have a nice pirate hat. You can be a jack o' lantern. You can have a nose, or a uh, a witch hat. They have full patch notes. Yeah, it's at the bottom of this. There's going to be new dishes, new automation upgrades, which is a teleporter, which is the upgraded dumbwaiter, and then corner grabber. There are some quality of life updates, which um, some are new updates to the cards. Uh, did they get rid of the ghost costume? I don't know. I don't know if this is the only four. And there are some upgrades to the Twitch integration. Uh, there's a new trick-or-treat mode, which we'll go into it. And then there's also four new cards. Uh, herd mentality, all customers come during rush time, which seems insane. Uh, picky eaters, customers can leave food on their plates, which must be thrown out. Which makes trash cans actually useful. Um, but seems annoying as well. Tipping culture, customers pay based on their remaining patience. Which I think is kind of cool. I don't know how big of a buff it is. Like, if you serve them immediately, if they give you a ton of money. Uh, health and safety customers are slowed by messes, which I think is uh, not bad either. Or kind of cool as well. But yeah, here's the full patch notes. New costume. Player can now wear costume hats as well as their outfits. You can choose your outfit by using the costume chest in your bedroom. Choose from pirate hats to ghost costumes to slices of pizza. They are not all spooky, so they won't need to leave once Halloween is over. So these are permanent not limited time. This is limited time, the new Halloween setting. You can get into the spookiest of seasons with this time-limited Halloween setting, which includes costume customers and decoration. You can also take your restaurant to another level uh, with the decorations. There is haunting fog and your customers yet yeah, go into costume and order a single lettuce leaf. Okay. Show them that you care by sprucing your restaurant with some free seasonal decoration. The Halloween setting also includes two new music tracks from Sam. Shout out Sam, uh, who was behind all the other music as well. And this is what I think is the most exciting here. The Halloween trick card set. It's in the Halloween setting, so it's, it's uh, limited time as well. But there are 18 new cards. In the spooky spirit of Halloween, these trick cards uh, can be used by your customers. So they can set fire to the table when they leave playing a trick. Um... But it can also be used with Twitch uh, integration. So it's only for Halloween. Once it's over, um, they'll be oh they'll be making their way into the rest of the game as an optional toggle, but they might be too spooky. So maybe limited time, maybe not. Which uh, is exciting. But yeah, I think it goes into it down here. Maybe not. Uh, new decorations. Uh, I think there's new non-Halloween related decorations. Um, baked bean carpet. That's exciting. Five new flooring, six new wallpapers. Most are nice. So, not all of them, I guess. <laughs> uh, new food, bone and steak. It's a steak variant with a spooky catch. I don't know what that means. Maybe we're cooking the customers. Maybe this is a crossover of Bones Cafe with Plate Up. There's a new fish variant, which is spiny fish. Where did it go? Uh, spiny fish. Managed to automate every part of the dish that wasn't supposed to be automatable. Have fun with this latest spanner in the works. You'll need to remove the bone from the fish before you can cook it. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I, I assume it says it's a fish variant. Because this says it's a steak variant. So I assume this is a fish variant. Uh, pumpkin is new. Pumpkin comes in three different flavors. With a new dessert and two new starters. One of which isn't a soup. Um, Exciting. New non-soup starters. Enjoy serving your customers with a new dessert pie. Uh, pumpkin pie. Now with 100% less plate. Oh. That's exciting. So is, I don't, is pumpkin a main? So pumpkin has three new main, it's a main with three flavors. Uh, has a new dessert and two new starters. I think pumpkin's a main. The way I'm reading it. Uh, and then corn is a side. You have to husk the corn and then cook it to provide a new side. It's quick and easy, but you have to figure out where to put all these husks. It's not a main? Okay, it's just a bunch of variations. 
Uh, corn, yeah, another reason to have trash cans, because you have to husk the corn. Which is cool. And then the two new appliances. The teleporter is an upgrade of the dumbwaiter. Lets you teleport anything across your restaurant instantly. So yeah, it's basically, um... The dumbwaiter you don't have to interact with, which is insane. So you can automate it. Which is pretty cool. And you can grab, like, plates and send it back. Uh, and then the new appliance, the corner grabber, or as they say, the rotating grabber. Um, this grabber upgraded can be interacted with to change the direction of its outputs. So it just makes grabbers more compact. Because you can make it turn without having to use multiple ones. Quality of life decoration benefits are now shown alongside the theme card. So you don't need to remember what the buffs are. That's huge. Uh, and then Twitch integration has trick or treat mode. Visitors can type visit trick or visit treat to make their customer do either a trick or a treat during their visit. And the only one that we know of at the moment is that you can set your table on fire as you leave. Uh, but there are 18 of them, which we're definitely going to do. And then the four new cards we talked about, um, herd mentality, health and safety, picky eaters, and tipping culture. And then there are some balance fixes and changes. Uh, the mixer sink and bin upgrades are now cyclic. So if you get a heated mixer, you are not uh, screwed over. You can upgrade it and you can send it to another mixer, which is insane. Uh, super, super cool to see, especially on the sink as well. Um, and I guess the bin. Which the bin will be more impactful now that we have the, uh, the card that has dirty dishes, the bone-in fish, and the corn. Uh, the soaking sink has actually been buffed. Uh, Gavin's gonna like that. Uh, the heated mixer has also been buffed for its cooking speed, which probably still isn't useful. Maybe it is. We'll see. Uh, the thick steak no longer requires thin steak, uh, which makes sense to me. It's gone. Come back. Yeah, used to you had to unlock thin steak first before you got thick, but now you can get uh, them independently. Same with the red wine sauce. You can get the steak topping independently. Uh, same with the tomato, you can get it independently. Uh, meat and tomato soups no longer require carrot soup, so carrot soup isn't the first soup you always get. You can get any of the soups in any order. Uh, dessert pies no longer need plates. How exciting is that? Apple and pumpkin pies uh, can just be served without a plate. Um, which personally, if someone just gave me a whole pie in one of like the aluminum pie dishes at a restaurant, I'd probably be confused, uh, but I guess it's less work on the restaurant, so you know what? The customers can deal with it. <laughs> uh, the main pies still need to be plated, though. All mains need to be plated, all non-mains do not. I guess they're making it consistent that uh, all desserts do not need plates, and all appetizers do not need plates, and all sides do not need plates. Which I guess makes sense for consistency. Uh, robot mops and buffers are now placed as a charging station. The charging station takes up a tile, but does not get in the way of players or customers. The robots will spawn on their charging station each day and be removed at night. This should fix a number of problems. That's pretty cool. So now the robots just reset every day. Um, so it's, I think it's a, I don't think it's a buff or a debuff. It's just a way to keep track of them. So they're not like stuck under tables and stuff like that. If it, I think that's what makes sense to me. And some balance fixes. Uh, conveyor mixer is now 0.5 to be in line with normal mixers. So conveyor mixer is a little bit worse. Um, fixed a bug with sides that meant customers would pay incorrect amount. Uh, Gavin and I took advantage of this a lot. Where if you served a side alongside a main, it would double your money. Um, but not a huge deal. I don't think money's like a big hindrance in this game. Sort of. I mean, later on, it's not at all. Uh, fix affordable buff that meant consumables would be reused. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I've experienced that one. Consumables are now only used up once the group leaves, rather than between courses. This is fantastic. Sharp cutlery uh, is actually decent now, because if you have sharp cutlery with appetizers, mains, and desserts, you have to use three sharp cutlery. But now it's just one. Uh, same with like breadsticks and stuff like that. Plate stack is now only a staple when you don't have one. So now plates are less common, I think. Uh, fixed a bug where bootstrapping franchise card wasn't correctly randomized and always gave the same things. I don't know what that one is. Cost reductions now apply to upgraded blueprints as well. Fantastic. 
Um, players can no longer throw out unnecessary, or unnecessary ingredients. That's good to see. Practice mode has been added to the pause menu. Oh, that's good. So you can just practice whenever. Players will now stay in place when exiting practice mode. Quality of life. Customers that get stuck for any reason should now fix their pathing so they don't do a little dance. <laughs> uh, patience bars have been reworked to be less likely to obscure things. Disabled the Christmas feature. Sorry, I posted the video. I should have kept it a secret. Changing your system clock no longer gives access to Christmas content. Fix cases where groups of zero could come to the restaurant, sit at tables, wait for service, and leave happily. What? How does a group of zero... Who's sitting down? It says a group of zero sits at the table and then they leave happy? Who's leaving happy? Ghosts? <laughs> who? Uh, who is they? Whatever. And then a bunch of bug fixes. But that's it. That's the, uh, maybe they should have kept the ghost customers for the Halloween update. 